Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and I want to show you a couple of cool things inside of Photoshop that I think you may find will help you out with editing your images. Now, how many times have you wanted to remove something from an image, but you then had to get out the cloning stamp or copy and paste things where it used to be to try to make it look just as good as the image looks? Well, there's a thing called Content Aware Fill and Content Aware Replace that I want to show you how it works because it's actually pretty cool. So I've got this image of these hot air balloons that I took in Sedona. So I'm in a hot air balloon above these hot air balloons. And, and what would we do if we wanted to remove these balloons because I want a really cool picture of these trees, which I would never want, but for the purposes of showing you this, let's show you. So one of the things I'm gonna do here is click on the lasso right over here, and I'm gonna go ahead, draw around the lasso, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete. Now delete only works in this case when background over here, you're on the background layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that and it brings up content aware fill. Okay, let me go ahead and hit okay and see what happens. I hit okay and look, it's gone. Now is that good or bad? Well, it's a heck of a lot better than what I would have done, but let's hit it again and see what happens. So you can do this a couple of times. Ooh, that time it doesn't look good. So let me draw around it a little larger and see if it tries to replace it all with black or if I need to go tighter to the balloon and see what happens. Okay, not so bad, but I wanna go tighter and see what happens. So I'm gonna go here, a little tighter, go around the balloon and hit it again. And Content Aware Fill goes ahead and replaces what's underneath. So I think it looks pretty good, I mean, if you didn't know that the balloon was there in the first place, you'd be like, okay, it's just a shadowy spot over in the trees, just like all of these shadowy spots in the trees. Let's see how it does with something down here. I'm gonna draw around the bigger balloon, and let's see. Please don't be a black hole, please don't be a black hole. It's not completely a black hole, but let's hit it again. I mean, might as well, it's already selected and see what happens. Let's. Take a look, what's underneath? Kind of pretty good. How much easier is this than when we used to use Photoshop like 2.0 and 3.0, when we would have to, whenever they introduced a clone stamp, and I'm like, yeah, this looks great, I'm replacing this, except it looks just like that line right next to it. Well, one push of a button, and you basically have this done, but I wanna show you something else that's really cool right here. So check this out. We're gonna go to this next one right here. Let's say, for example, that somebody wanted to order a panoramic vertical form from me, and they wanted this particular image, and they were offering me a ton of money. I'd be like, uh, well, it doesn't fit, and they're like, well, we'll pay you three times as much money if you can get it to fit this aspect ratio, but we don't want the balloons to be ruined. Okay, well, so let's see what we could do here. We could go to, I wanna be on this layer, because this has the image. I wanna go edit, transform, Let's go ahead and hit scale, and I'm gonna be like, boom, nailed it, right? I, I could totally sell that, right? Well, no, I couldn't sell that, and it looks terrible. So how are we gonna do this using content-aware technology to make this work? Well, I'm gonna bring up a video from my buddy Matt Klikowski, because he has a video to show this. So let's see, his Photoshop system outline, section seven, removing distractions, content-aware scale. Yes, there's a content aware scale. So I know it's section seven, video seven. All right, section seven, so there it is, video seven, here it is. All right, let's watch this and see what Matt does and then copy it because he's really good at this. Option, and that is we can tell it to protect certain things, okay? Oh yeah, he's got a balloon just like I have a balloon, but this is my balloon, not his balloon. So anyway, this is, this is good. So what we do is, we can take our lasso tool and just make a really quick lasso selection right, I got that part around down. things we want to protect. I can do that. So the balloon I know I want to protect. I did see it start to deteriorate the, the golf cart path over here. Oh, by the way, uh, just in case you haven't seen the selection uh, part yet, um, if you want to add to your selection, hold down the shift key. You'll see there's a little plus next to it. All right, so if we're gonna, we've made a selection with the lasso tool. If we want to add to it, hold down the shift key, there's a little plus next to it, and then I can go through here and add to that. So now I have this area selected. The only other thing that we need to do is we need to save the selection. So we come up here to the select menu, 
go down here to save selection and I'm going to type in balloon. I did this before. Okay. So now we've gotten that far. This is, he's really good at teaching this stuff. So what do we want to do? I want to go ahead and lasso around this balloon. And then he gave us that other tip for how to add to it. I'm going to hold down shift and that plus button shows up and I'm going to go around here. And so we have both of these. And now I have to remember where he said, I think it was under select, save selection, and I'm gonna call it new balloon. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And I'm gonna go back to the video and see what he says to do next. Already be in there, but we're gonna try it again. Uh, and I'll hit okay. So it saved the selection. Now what? Now Matt? we just go in here to deselect. Oh. I go back up to the same tool, content aware scale. But this time you're going to see that there's a little section up, up top here called protect. And yeah, I did it twice. I was, I, I practiced once before this. So, uh, I did it twice. Either one will work. So it's saying, I want to protect this selection. Oh. So you would just choose whatever you, whatever selection you created there and it protects it. Now let's go ahead and drag that side out. <laughs> Most importantly here, as I drag, I already forgot what he did. Hold on. He went up to see, I love that. I can go back content aware scale under edit. Okay, so he deselected, so I'm just gonna click in here to unselect. I'm gonna go into edit, uh, content aware scale. Then up here, I'm gonna find new balloon. And now I'm gonna do this and hopefully it works. Look at that. Look at that top balloon. You see how it's not stretching out? So I'm about to get that payday because they love this. I don't know what I did down there at the bottom, but oh my God, look at this. And I'm going to hit enter. And it, the, the balloons stayed the same. The balloons stayed exactly how they needed to be. The trees stretched out a little, but you can't even tell because this content aware thing did a, wow. Hold on, let's see what else Matt had. Look, the balloons are exactly the same. I can't tell that this is stretched out. It just looks like it's later in the day and that the shadows are deeper. So let's, let's see what else he does here. Or scale. So it's saying, I want to protect, watch that. the balloon. See, the balloon never changes. Even if I smush this together, okay, able to, but way longer than it Actually, protected that's it cool. before. Well, I want you to see we, this. This together. It's going to hold that balloon until it can't hold it together. And look at this. It is protecting that balloon at all costs until eventually it's not going to be able to, but way longer than it protected it before. But you can see we can extend that out. We can extend that out. Uh, it is messing with the cart path a little bit here. So we might need to finesse it a little bit. And then I will tell you, sometimes it's just too much. Sometimes you just won't be able to do it, but let's go ahead and hit the checkbox up there and uh, we can take a look at what it's done. So how amazing was that? I never knew this thing existed until I watched Matt's videos and I wanted to show you Matt doing some of his editing so you could see how he does it. I've teamed up with him to offer his Photoshop system to you guys at a big discount. If you go to mattk.com slash fro and use the code fro at checkout, you'll save over a hundred bucks in his 11 plus hour course on how to use Photoshop. You saw how easy his teachings are. That's like a six and a half minute video that had a ton of learning in there and he just teaches it. He shows you how it does how to do it and then you can do it I follow along with it just like I did right here so that I can learn and after years of being afraid of using Photoshop he takes all the fear out of it because he shows you right there how to do it so anyway go check it out go to mattk.com slash fro use the code fro at checkout to save over a hundred bucks on his Photoshop system you can download the images from me I'm gonna give you this balloon image so that you can play with it on your own but that's it guys thank you for watching Jared Poland photo.com see ya